It is Wednesday night, and the big story on Action News tonight is breaking news in Philadelphia. Police say they have made three arrests in the Rolex watch robberies in Center City. Action All right, Center City, Philadelphia. Center City includes the Central Business District and the Central Neighborhoods of Philadelphia in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. It comprises an area made up of the city of Philadelphia prior to the act of consolidation. So this is basically what Philly was back in the day until before it expanded. Greater Center City has grown into the second most densely populated downtown area in the United States after Midtown Manhattan in New York with an estimated 173,000 residents. So Center City is a, bigger than some, just this little neighborhood is bigger than some of your cities that you guys live in. And as we know, Philadelphia is 50% Sun men. 50% and about 35 to 40% glacier gliders. However, Center City, this neighborhood, is 67% glacier gliders and 12% sun men and 11% crouching tigers. So they have almost as many crouching tigers as they do have sun men in this area. So this is a very affluent area whenever you have a lot of crouching tigers like that because crouching tigers live in places where they're going to be safe. We're not going to say from who, but <laughs> they live in places where they're going to be safe. And they don't, they don't live... They 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 have their businesses in, in in unsafe areas, but where they live, they live in very safe areas. So, this place belies the. If you go to Center City, you're not going to get a good feel of what Greater Philadelphia is like. It is Wednesday night, and the big story on Action News tonight is breaking news in Philadelphia. Police say they have made three arrests in the Rolex watch robberies in Center City. Action News reporter Dan Quayer is live at Central Detectives. Dan, what do we know? Well, Jim, police sources now confirm that the three suspects they were looking for in a rash of Center City holdups are in custody here at Central. Action News has learned that the men were caught during a car stop following an armed holdup in South Philadelphia where a man tells police he was relieved of his expensive watch by the armed bandits. Philadelphia police at the scene at 17th and Locust where they were holding a silver Lincoln, a car believed stolen that was occupied by the three suspects being sought. The men were being sought in a rash of armed robberies that have taken place in Center City in recent weeks. Among them, a Rolex watch taken from a groom in the old city section who was getting some fresh air during his wedding reception when he was robbed on South 3rd. Let that sink in. This guy was getting married, he stepped out, and I've, I've been there, you need some, you know, you need some time for reflection, he stepped out, he ain't get, he wasn't stepping out to get some air, he was stepping out to warm up his cold feet, <laughs> but stepped out for a second, and that little bit of time on the street, and away from, you know, a large group, I guess the wedding party, just like that, he's robbed. <laughs> and this is the area of Philly where let's just say like, it is, but it is 10% though. That is, I don't know why I didn't catch that when I first looked at the stats. This is 10%, so Scratch everything I just said. That just dawned on me. It's over 10%. 
among them a Rolex watch taken from a groom in the old city section who was getting some fresh air during his wedding reception when he was robbed on South 3rd. Action News also obtained surveillance video of a theft that happened along the 1800 block of Cuthbert. In that incident, police say two victims were robbed of their Rolex watches worth $37,000. Last Friday, police also reported three armed men believed to be in their 20s stole money and jewelry from pedestrians near 22nd and Sampson. By the way, the watch was recovered in tonight's heist. The men are being held here overnight per questioning and further investigation. Multiple charges are pending tonight. Live at Central Detectives, I'm Dan Cuellar, Channel 6, Action News. Jim? Thank you, Dan. Six. Tired of crime, a near north side neighborhood is turning to another tactic now to help keep their streets safe. Beginning this week, Bucktown will be using armed private security guards to patrol parts of their area. WGN's Patrick Elwood is live at Damon and Armitage with more details. Pat? Well, good evening to you, Dina and Ray. Under the bigger umbrella of desperate times, call for desperate measures, Bucktown is going private with security that is in an effort to make this area a safer place. Desperate times call for desperate measures. No, being an idiot and calling for your police to be defunded, electing Kim Fox, re-electing Kim Fox as your district attorney, electing Lori Lightfoot as your mayor. <laughs> this town is... These pasty liberals live in a city where everything is run by sun people. <laughs> everything. City Council, Police Department, everything is run by them. And I get it. You woke, you woke, you woke. You're not like the Trump supporters who have never killed one son man or son woman. Never. So you're not, you're not as racist as they are. But if you're not as racist as a group of people who have never killed one son, man, or son, woman, and a group of people or their leader, Trump, who called for the feds to be sent to Chicago in 2017, To help with the murder rate. <laughs> if you're not as racist as them, really, what did you what does that get you? Okay, really, what does that get you? Huh? Like, it doesn't get you anything. You're not as racist as a group of people who never did anything to some people. And for that virtue signaling, you went all in. And now you're having to pay money <laughs> to have a security team patrol your neighborhood. And protect you from you know who. Cats out the bag, man. Everybody in this channel knows who you're being protected from. Okay? There may be some people out there, a few people who don't know, who don't want to know, who are in denial. But everyone, everyone knows who you're being protected from. And who you're hiring this firm to protect you from. So this was a situation you guys created. No sympathy. Hit one of you have no sympathy for these people. Well, good evening to you, Dina and Ray. Under the bigger umbrella of desperate times, call for desperate measures, Bucktown is going private with security that is in an effort to make this area a safer place. While crime has enveloped the whole city of Chicago, people who live and work in Bucktown 
are about to see a noticeable change. Armed private security guards are about to start patrolling this week. And while some people may feel like Caitlin... I don't know if, you know, has it become that bad? I, I'm not aware, you know, I don't really, since I don't own a car, um, you know, just hearing from friends, but everybody I know has been pretty safe with that. Wow. This woman, she probably has a good job. <laughs> a lot of great jobs in Chicago. Chicago was a great city. And it still is in certain parts where you think, except for this. But this woman definitely does not believe a word of what she's saying. But there may be a reason why she's saying it. She may be saying it because she has a job and she or she this or she feeling pressure to not, you know, to toe the woke line and not, you know, ruffle any feathers. And as she says, she doesn't have a car. <laughs> so like <laughs> they don't really mess with me. I don't have a car. So within her word salad of BS and pandering and sideways talking and trying to, you know, skirt around the issue, she still, that's why I tell you guys to be active listeners. So that's one thing that I always try to press upon you guys. Just listen. Let them talk. She still reveal what's going on. Well, I mean, I don't have a car. <laughs> I'm safe. I don't have a car. <laughs> For them to come put a gun in my head and snatch me out of. <laughs> I don't know if, you know, has it become that bad? I, I'm i not aware. You know, I don't really, since I don't own a car, um, you know, just hearing from friends, but everybody I know has been pretty safe with that. Others too often have been upfront and personal when it comes to Chicago street crime, from burglaries to robberies to carjackings that claimed lives or left motorists badly hurt. According to published reports, the Bucktown Neighbors Association is hiring P4, a private security firm with offices downtown and suburban Downers Grove to provide nightly patrols. The areas to be patrolled are between Armitage Avenue to the north, Damon Avenue to the west, North Avenue to the south, and Polina Street to the east. My question. The sun men that you guys love so much that are like that have caused you to do this. Because remember, even though the police were defunded in Chicago, they're back to full force. It's just not enough because the sun man has been emboldened to where the the previous level of policing isn't enough. So Chicago's not defunded anymore. They got all their funds back. And more. It's not enough. <laughs> what happens when one of those private security guards meets meets a son man that don't want to cooperate? The son man looks at him like you ain't no real cop. And tries to punch him or take his gun or something like that. And then the private security guard has to who hit one of you think that these glacier gliders, these pasty libs, are going to protest if one of their hired guns <laughs> has to whack out a sun man, <laughs> has to beat a sun man black and blue. Hmm? Hit one if you think that they're gonna hit the streets with 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 <laughs> with picket signs. They're gonna go to the local Michaels, the local Hobby Lobby, the local AC Moore, get a bunch of arts and crafts, and go make up some signs <laughs> and hit the streets. The man at P four. 
the security company that they hired, <laughs> be disbanded and are all racist. Everybody with P4 is racist. Who thinks they're going to do that? According to published reports, the Bucktown Neighbors Association is hiring P4, a private security firm with offices downtown and suburban Downers Grove, to provide nightly patrols. The areas to be patrolled are between Armitage Avenue to the north, Damon Avenue to the west, North Avenue to the south, and Polina Street to the east. Out walking her newborn baby boy today is neighborhood resident Vanessa. You know, I'm a little conflicted about it. She says it's a shame it's come to this, but she welcomes the private security patrols. And I recently heard about a, a dad that was carjacked taking his son out of his out of the backseat of his car. And now with a newborn, I'm s more scared about... Hyper aware yeah, now. Yeah, about... Um, I, you know, we have a, a garage in the alley. I make sure to close the garage door before I get out of that car. I look around a lot more. Think about how terrible a person this woman is. That it took, she heard about the, the guy getting carjacked while he's taking a baby. Like, they, they literally don't care. They have no red lines. They have no cut cards. They live in neighborhoods where kids are shot every day. In Chicago, kids get, a kid gets shot every day. So they come from a community, a stand. A standing in province <laughs> where kids get shot every day. So when they roll up on you and you, they, they, they cruising looking for somebody to carjack. They see you taking. They're not gonna be like, oh no, nah, he got a baby. They like, nah, go get him. That didn't bother her. It wasn't until she had a baby. So she had to have a baby of her own. A newborn to be able to relate to that. She couldn't relate just off of like, dang, that's messed up. And she had to physically have a baby of her own to be able to identify with that guy. Yikes. And I recently heard about a, a dad that was carjacked taking his son out of his out of the backseat of his car. And now with a newborn, I'm more scared about hyper aware yeah, now about um i you know we have a, a garage in the alley i make sure to close the garage door before i get out of that car i look around a lot more alderman brian hopkins whose district encompasses part of bucktown says he totally understands where the neighborhood association is coming from they're taking matters into their own hands out of frustration and fear and they feel like they're being targeted and preyed upon on a nightly basis which they are I'm glad he said that because I was about to say they are. <laughs> they are being targeted. Hit one if you saw the video where I did on the teens, on the little son teens, 14-year-old girls and 13-year-old boys that said they go to these neighborhoods specifically because they, they know these people have money and they have nice cars. So they target the little kids that are doing this stuff. I'll put a link to that video in the description box in a pinned comment. Little teens said they go to this neighborhood specifically because they know these people have money and they know they have nice cars. They are being targeted. I'm glad he said that. Taking matters into their own hands out of frustration and fear. And they feel like they're being targeted and preyed upon on a nightly basis, which they are. And Alderman Hopkins added this. He very much considers himself to be a moderate Democrat. So how do we stop the tide of these carjackings? He says, unless there's a glacial shift in the process. A glacial shift. <laughs> a glacial shift, man. Wow. He says, unless there's a glacial shift in the prosecution and the incarceration of the people who are committing these crimes, we are not. Lastly, as I was in the middle of this live shot, a gentleman came walking out of the restaurant. He said, what's going on? Anything bad happened? I said, no, not really. He said, oh, good. I'm glad it's not another carjacking that we're hearing about. 
Reporting from Bucktown tonight, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you in the studio. Hey, Pat, before you go, just out of curiosity, have they given you a, a sense of, of what the, the cost of uh, hiring private security will be? No, they're being really tight-lipped about it. Don't want to give out too much information, too many details, which kind of in the big picture makes sense. Visibly, we have not seen anybody in terms of fitting the profile of a uh, security guard from this company as of yet. Back to you. But that gentleman's comments highlight how concerned people are about those carjackings. Yeah, thanks, Pat.